we are. That family where the same lights can't come in. Ah! I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who's super telling That family, the old, I don't know who you are, but here is, you have suffered enough. Am I might talking to somebody here? There's somebody, enough is enough. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God say yes, you can say no. When God say no, you can say yes. God is on your side. Heaven is on your side. Bless is on your side. Open is on your side. Let you on your side. Me on your side. You join us. is getting married to her. He's a graduate, but no job. Something is hiding him. He has a lot of ideas. If he advises you, you'll be wondering, with all this advice, why is your life like this? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. I came here with an anger in my spirit. Even if it's not everyone, but as many that believe, your life will turn for good. Hey, if I hear your amen, you are the one I'm talking to. Uh -huh. I'm sure you are the one I'm talking to. You are the one I'm talking to. You are the one I'm talking to. Shut fire! That night, the king could not sleep because somebody time has come. He could not sleep. The man could not sleep. And he said, please give me the record. Oh, the Bible says he owns the key on the heart of kings. As what? Rivers of water. He turned it the way he was. He please. Brother, relax. Your coming here today is not a mistake. Sister, you that step in here, the matter is over. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. When the enemy is chasing you, there are places you enter. The enemy says, Oh, you are lucky. I don't know if you are something. As you are running, for example, people are chasing you, chasing you. You knock down somebody. The best place to run to is not your home. Run to the police. Are, are you are you getting what I'm saying? As they are chasing you, don't run to anywhere. Run to the police. As you enter the station. They will not beat you. So there are places you enter. So the same way it is in the spiritual realm. When they, in the physical realm, when they try, maybe somebody is changing the child, and the child is calling, Daddy, 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 and he comes to his father. The father hears the voice, maybe from the room, or the mother hears the voice. He said, that is the voice of my... Don't you know the voice of your father? Don't you know the voice of your son? So as the child is calling, Mommy, help me. Daddy, help me. It's the same way you have come to cry for help. And you are inside the room. And you will jump up. You say, please, is that not the voice of Emmanuel? He's shouting like somebody that is in trouble. He's calling my name because he needs deliverance. And the father comes and opens the door. He says, what is that? And the moment he embraces his son, he stands in the gap and asks the person, why are you chasing my son? And the moment the person sees the father, he slides back from the rings. He says, oh, tell your son to be very careful. You are lucky today, if not for your father. In the same way you have come here today, I stand as a spiritual father. Under the grace and this atmosphere of fire, whatever that is chasing you, I chase them back. I shall chase them back. Is it the spirit of death that is chasing you? I command spirit of death back to silence. Is it the spirit of poverty? Go now. Whatever that is chasing you, I declare holy ghost. Somebody lift your hands and fire three times. 
Amen. There are places you enter, they have no shot to leave you. Oh, he's lucky. Oh, who is this man that is defending him? Marikaya! They know. He was expecting promotion. He was expecting, ah, these people are hurt. This king did not, he has ignored me. There are many of you that God should have used some people to uplift. There are some of your friends who are outside the country that told them your life should change. But now they are silent. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Joseph was in the prison. And when the two brothers entered the prison, they had a dream, two of them. One came, Joseph interpreted the dream. I can't be gifted and be hidden. How can I have the interpretation of dream and I'm inside the prison? How will I manifest? I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. The man had a dream. He said, what is the problem? He explained the dream. He said, oh, I see them killing you. They will hang you in three days time. The other one explained. He said, oh, don't worry, congratulations. They are going to call you back to the palace. But please, when you go back to the palace, remember me. But the man, they called him back. He entered the palace. He forgot Joseph. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. He forgot him. And that kept Joseph in that prison for a long time. If not that, listen, God saw that this young man that should have helped Joseph because it was a divine arrangement. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. It was a divine arrangement for God to give both of them dream. For them to enter prison. For somebody to, as many you have interpreted their dream. It may not be true prophecy, it may not be true dream. Maybe you supported their business. Maybe you sponsored their education. Maybe you stand for them for one thing or the other. And now that things turn around, they left you and they are no longer on your side. I declare, may heaven touch your heart to remember you. You got from the fire, may heaven call your heart to remember you. May your destiny ever remember you. In the name of Jesus. The man forgot. And God said, this guy has spoiled the first arrangement. So what will I do? Let me give Pharaoh dream. He has to give Pharaoh dream. And nobody could interpret the dream. That was when the young man said, oh, that was what he said in the Bible. See, hey, I have seen against heaven and earth. There is one young man. How can somebody in your face, he told you that you'll be called back to the palace. And the other one will be killed. That is exactly what is happening to us. So many of our destiny helpers have forgotten us. Some don't remember us. I, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Some, why? Because there is a strong force. From the moment they enter that new level, they don't remember, they forget. But I pray today, something will make them remember you. That amen is too weak. I prophesy to you as a shattering amen and one fire. You are remembered. It's very painful. They say, Oh, I have seen against God and heaven. See, there is a young man in the prison. He interpreted my dream. And everything he said. And the trace I saw Joseph. That was when the story of Joseph changed. You need one man. Did you hear what I just said? You need someone. Maybe as you are living here, maybe your friend that you have forgotten for long, maybe somebody you have for years. What have they done for this man? What have they done? That was the question the king, King Azros, asked. And they said, Nothing. You mean this man did this kind of wonderful work and you people wrote it and cover it up? They said, It's him, man. He said, Yeah, it's him. He said, the court, call him. And the guy came. And the king said, what do you think should be done for a man that helped the king to escape death? What honor should be given to God? That was that grabbing in his mouth, thinking he was the one. May your enemy be disgraced. I, I stand on this altar and I prophesy to you, anyone that is expecting your tears, anyone expecting to be put to shame, Anyone is ready to be frustrated. If I be a man of God, may the plan go back to Salah. I say, may the plan go back to Salah. Let them be frustrated. Let them be put to shame. Shout it out there. How does it imagine somebody coming to 
Lagos. And you don't say, let me go and tell my uncle or my auntie, I'm leaving. And you get to the place, you are informing your auntie or your uncle, please, I want to go to Lagos. Say, hey, okay, well, why now? I want me to go to Lagos, matter. No word of encouragement. There are some people that they just want to be reigning. Jesus said, he said, those who does not want me to reign, bring them and do what? Slaughter them. That was Jesus. As many that don't want me to reign in my time, bring them and slaughter them. Some people don't want others to. It is a big error for you to be shaky because of somebody's greatness. Somebody's also what concerns you. It is his turn. Your turn will come. Let the person be driving private jet. My sister, that is his own level. That is own. Your own, even if it's bicycle, drive it or ride it with what? With pride. Have you not seen someone that has only bike and has peace of mind more than somebody driving private jet? Why kill yourself? I am I talking to somebody here? It's not about what you are wearing, it's how you carry what you wear. Not the person where you tell the amount go know how much you buy them. Let me hear louder amen. amen. Tell somebody, don't let anybody intimidate you. Don't let anyone. Be happy. Be contented with what you have. Am I talking to somebody here? Be happy. Happiness is one of the key to long life. I am telling the truth. It's one of the key to long life. Anytime you are last sorrow, pains, worry, what are you worried about? What you will still live on earth and go. Amen. amen. I said amen. amen. Be happy. Thank God that you are not dying. Thank God that hunger has not killed you. Even if the soup, there is no meat in it. Eat, put to speak. Am I talking to somebody here? Eat your food as you come out. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ooh, what a wonderful meat. It concern anybody. Not you eat the food. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. The other day I drank pap. I drank pap. After drinking, I said, my wife, give me to speak. I said, yeah, what happened? Why am I looking for this? You know, I can I drank. I said, yeah, to speak. I said, give me a. If a was like, what would come out was like a moon classes yesterday? Come on. Somebody had a fire. I prophesy to you. On this great altar, you will not be frustrated. Are you ready to pray? Hey, I have six powerful prayer points. Now, see, listen, I don't know who you are. Maybe today is your first time. Or you are part of this ministry. Listen, from here, I was praying on, uh, is it Tuesday? To Wednesday, Tuesday to Wednesday, and the Lord told me, He said there is a new wave, a new wind, and this wind is not a wind of destruction, but it's a wind I want to use to carry some people to where they are. Yeah. Now look at this, look at the explanation of that revelation. He says some people are too slow. Some of you are too slow of entering where you need to enter. Say, I will come with my power to lift you up with my wind. Yeah. Oh, you don't understand. Shout it loud, amen. I thought to him, I was telling my wife, I said, ha, there's a big revelation the Lord gave to me. He said, what I say? Something is about to happen. When the Lord told me that this month of August is going to be unexplainable dimension, I didn't understand. There are some of you cheap things. But Sunday, one of our brother who was around, he was sitting there. Uh, Mr. Tobiso was sitting. The one that the Lord had and got a car. I don't know if you can remember. Came here, nothing richer. Planning to go back. You saw him in my office. I don't know either you or both of you saw him inside the office. That was the best that came here, Richard. He said, Pastor, I want to pack my things. The person that invited him should be is in Nana. Yes. Yes. Naman. Okay, Naman. He said, Pastor, please help me. I said, Your happiness is in the hand of God. You have entered a place where there will be a turnaround. Pray for him, came here for deliverance. After that deliverance, as he left this place that same day, his phone was on fire. That was best what I'm talking. There are people that need to listen until they remember you. You may be still, you may be there for long. 
His phone was on fire. A long time friend who stays in Dubai called him. I've been trying your number. This devil, eh? stretch your hand. May the anointing to attract favor. May that anointing rub on you by fire. Oh, that your enemy is looking for my trouble. I say your enemy is looking for my trouble. Shout it loud and let Satan be put to shame. How does it? His phone was on fire. And he picked the call. I'm not going to start talking. He said, I've been trying to reach you. How is everything? He said, fine. What are you doing now? That was somebody that said he is leaving that week. He just came for that deliverance. And I said, You are not going anywhere. He was here. I told him, you might not even, he was around when the deliverance was taking place. I told him, the guy fell on this place. I said, You're stepping here. It's not by me, but what I saw, I saw a new dimension. I saw another grace. To him, he was just shouting in there with all his heart because no hope. Praise God. He was in Dubai and he was devoted before he came to this nation. And after that message, his phone was on fire. He beat the call and both of them discussed. He said, okay, please, I don't know. Will you like, I would like to get you a car so that you don't go back and start up something. He said, he said go and make inquiry. The guy started calling me. So when I saw the call that day, I said, okay, what is this one now? There, there are things. <laughs> Praise God. I don't do your deliverance. You sure they call me again. This is, I told my wife, leave this person, let me rest. I refused to pick the call because I was thinking maybe he's trying to complain or whatever. <laughs> no, no, but I know some of you say, you know, hey, Pastor Emmanuel, you are my boy. <laughs> no, it's not what I it's not what I do, please. But there is a way you'll be tired. Are you get what I'm saying? And there's a way you'll be tired. Like on Sunday, I was so tired. I needed to go and see somebody, but I was so tired. I left there around four or five. So I have to say, let me go home and rest. So I left at your point. I didn't pick the call. Then later on, the following day, that program took place on Saturday. Deliverance always takes place on Saturday. So he came on Sunday. When he came, he came to the office. He told me, as fast as I was coming, I said, please, I was so tired. I saw your call, but I could not pick. He said, look at what happened. After I left this and that, I don't know what do you think. He said, what I think. What do you tell the young man? He said, let me tell my pastor. I said, my friend said, I can't know, man. Come on. Call the young man and tell him, your miracle have what? I started. Like, play, like, play. He said, I said, go ahead. Come on fast. Like, Joe, within three days, that young man wired one for something million. In the space of one week, the guy brought the car. With, with dedicated the engineer, I said, also, I have to go and prove how the car. That same guy that, who was the bank going home? He's not the one telling me that he's looking for house to pay. He wants to rent a house. He's planning to do this one. Uh, uh, Pastor, you told me about business. I want to start up. He said, this is where my miracle started. I said, it is where your miracle started and it's where your tax should be coming. Somebody had a fire. Somebody had a fire. But you don't understand the price men of God pay. Genuine men of God, though. The price they pay in prayers. The price they pay in prayers. And that was how the story of that. He was saying that in the office. He said, so go ahead. Just go ahead. Keep on doing what you are doing. Your life has started. Things have turned around. That was somebody that was a bad boy home. I don't know if I can prophesy to you. But at least if you say this pastor is too small. I don't have beers. I'm not big. But what is inside me is bigger than what you are seeing. I speak with ancient voice. And I don't know what I am When the power in the name that is above every other name. Now right now, whatever that is holding your testimony is released by fire.
But the kind of glory was restored. Ha! Ah! Instantly. He said, go and do that to Mordecai. Hey man, you are the one that planned all this. Oh yeah, you have said with your mouth, go and decorate the young man. That was I, Mordecai, entered the king's house. Put on his robe, dressed, and as the, the horse is moving gradually all over the streets. And that is how a man was announcing no matter what you call ya. Are you I don't if I'm talking to somebody here? Whether it's what the king asks him to say, whether he say with anger, the we are only the shop. I'm better him one and water. Also, if one hit on him, I'm not at the beginning. Carry me around, don't hear the king say you should do what? They will be frustrated. You wear clothes, you come out, they are envy you. Go and buy another one and wear. Let people kill them. The more they think that, listen, let me say this to you. Don't ever let your enemy find out that you are struggling. Don't. Don't give them the final say. They get more frustrated and their charm is destroyed when they see that you always bounce back. You come out, you dress well. Do your little makeup. I didn't say do too much that you make you look like indeed. Look, just do something. <laughs> Praise God. Just do something light so that angels can recognize you when they want to bless you. Are you with me at all? Uh, because there's a way angels will be coming and they'll be one is that in Kechi or what? In Kechi we know it's black. Why is it fair? And so they would have father, the man, the woman you said we should go and bless, we didn't see the woman. So do something that angels can do what? They can recover. Shout a loud that amen. Don't let them have the final say. Mind the people you complain to. There are some people they can't wait to laugh at your complaint. Are you with me?